Well, hello there. Welcome to Beer et Chocolat. And what we do here is we just, as you can see, I just finished off a bottle of beer. We did a tasting of left hand Belgian white nitro. Belgian white nitro. It is a Belgian style uh, wheat beer. Uh, the tasting notes are right up there. Now, usually after tasting, some folks will sit back and they'll have uh, some cheese and crackers, maybe, you know. Yeah, now here. What we do is we bring out the old Hershey's milk chocolate. And we break off a piece. We have a little chew out of the chocolate. We have a little taste of the beer. And we see if the flavors are a hit or a miss. All right. The tasting notes for this are right up there. Uh, in, a, in short, uh, it is probably one of the lightest beers in body and in flavor and anything else that I've ever tasted. It is uh, fizzy soda water type colored. So that's about what it is. Now, sometimes a chocolate along with this, they don't get together for some reason. Well, let's find out if their flavors are a hit or a miss. Rich, really sweet, very mouthful, very mouth coating. A little bit of chocolate, just to remind you, it really is chocolate. I call it Easter Bunny chocolate. Let's we'll see if it gets along with the left hand. Well, it gives a little more. It, they get. It's not. It's not an antagonistic thing. They just kind of. They're kind of sitting on a park bench is what they're doing. Either here nor there. Well, it's the way it happens sometimes. Is this a hit or a miss? Is Hershey's milk chocolate a hit or a miss with the Belgian Nitro? It's a miss. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great. And a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler. Hoping to see you again on Beer et Chocolat.